Welcome back to the Tide Hero Hangar. This is Mike, and I'm coming at you with the weekly news and review for March 19th, 2023, 2023. We've got some interesting Transformers reveals, of course, a bit light on some of the third party stuff going on in the Masterpiece and Legends, but we have some mainline stuff. A couple things to talk about for G.I. Joe and a bit of a tip of a discussion on this. We also have some ramen toy reveals. This is the 3 0. Probably your first look at it. And we've got a price change on the retro series of Indiana Jones. I'm going to talk about that. We've got pre orders up for Biker Mice. And uh, I'm going to talk about Biker Mice. I'll actually be talking about Biker Mice all week this week, oddly enough. And there's a, some Batman news and some other news and Star Wars news. And, and the big question in Star Wars is. Did you ask for this? We're going to talk about this and more coming up. As usual, what's new at Show Z? And there's a lot of cool stuff going on. The original G1, all the Dinobots, 33 bucks a piece shipped out the door in original style packaging. This is fourth party. KO, not official, of course, obviously, but if you want to own a piece of history and own the right way, the way it originally came, this is how you do it. Both Minasaur and Superion are coming into stock, $94 a piece, so coming into stock very, very soon. Place your order now, you'll be getting it relatively soon, but this is a lot of fun, a lot of excitement. I, I already have a vintage one, but if you want one in a box set, brand new, then there it goes. Now, I'm not 100% sure about the die cast, it's listed as ABS only, and all of these third-party, fourth-party, fourth-party G1s are no service after the sell. So if they break, then it's on you, but it's pretty good price for G1 stuff. They also have the Magic Square, and I guess this should have been a news topic, but Magic Square MSB47B Dark Knight Jetfire in stock for pre-order. I'm sorry, it's a pre-order, $1 down, no price yet. And so we already know about this figure because Magic Squares had theirs out, but this is a repaint. And Iron Factory EX76 Cheetor that we saw last week, I guess it was a reveal last week, is up for pre-order right now at Show Z, $1 down. If you do go over there, put in the TH, capital T, capital H, support your reviewer, reviewer code for Tidarium Hanger, help me out, and get some good deals. Okay, so... There is another version of this Megatank MT-01B Monocrat Megatron, and it's slightly recolored, I guess, to look a little bit different. I mean, looking at the original one, it does look a little different than the original one. I, it actually looks a little bit cleaner, a little brighter. But anyway, there are some slight differences to it. Here is the alt mode. So I think either if you want to get yours... If you missed the first one, which is still in stock, it shows E, but if you want to miss the first one or you didn't like the look of that one and you want something that looks a little bit cleaner, I guess, I'm not sure, but B. And usually this is a darker version, but it doesn't look any darker to me. Anyway, it's referred to as the original version, and it does look really cool, and I've heard a lot of good things about this. Okay, so there's a Starscream set for your deformation space, and it is a coronation set, but it also does a whole lot of things, like bump the chest out and do a whole lot of other things to it. And so with that, your end result, you're going to end up having with something that looks about like this. Now, this is... I don't know the availability or pricing or anything on this. This is still in development right now, but uh, Zul is the one who was talking about this, and it looks really good. It looks fantastic, and uh, I really think I would like to get this set. I mean, as you can see, it just upgrades pretty much everything on the bot, forearms and chest, and then uh, the, the back piece is there. Then you get the coronation set on top of it, and I'm, I'm guessing it's a soft goods cape, so more information to come, but... This looks amazing. I really do. I'm impressed. I, I think this looks fantastic. Staying kind of in the realm here of questionable stuff, uh, this is supposed to be a transforming roller. And yes, that's right, a transforming roller for Optimus Prime. And it's Masterpiece scale. So Masterpiece scale, I don't know how much, how big it's supposed to be uh, because the Masterpiece roller really isn't that huge. It's not huge or anything. But then we see an actual copy of this so there it is so that looks pretty interesting pretty cool again this could be a custom this could be anything this is a, a translation lots lost in translation and so there's really no company associated with it but 
it says use hobby land so it could just be one person's custom out there but it's still pretty cool pretty interesting if this actually gets turned into a production item people are posting pictures of their con exclusive the mmc motif or rewind and it looks pretty good it does look like it's got that nice gold paint on it and it's not painted head to toe like other ones but it does look fantastic i look forward to getting these uh when there's the main line release but still two cons ago i still don't have that one that i ordered so we'll see the steel jaw i don't have it i don't it'll be a long time until we get this so i guess it pays to go to the cons All right so i'm assuming this is going to be masterpiece scale but nobody really knows, so I'm just going to stick it in with a masterpiece. This is a third-party Mechanical Shell Studio, not Mechanic Studio, by the way. And this is their MSS-01 Sirius, the Solo Wing, and it's an Armada Starscream. So it's going to come with a lot of stuff, a mini -con, mini con partner that's not transformable, three pairs of interchangeable hands, and his wings can transform into a sword, and... It's highly posable, a lot of cool stuff. Let's see the alt mode. Here's the alt mode, it does transform. It does look pretty good. It's actually a very interesting looking bot. And the odd thing is, is that there is the Hasbro slash Takara mainline one on the shelves at Target right now. And that doesn't seem to be moving that well. I'm curious how well this will move, but it does look cool. Just people that appreciate cool looking bots. That's it. According to my calculations, it's been four days Three hours and 22 minutes since somebody's announced a new Optimus Prime. So it's due for another Optimus Prime. Agora Models Optimus Prime 38-inch die-cast model kit. This is going to be fully articulated, non-transformable. Will feature sound phrases, music clips, plus his mouth plate moves along with his speech. Now this is a model kit. And it's strange how they're doing it, but it's interesting Box one will be 75, and you'll get one a month for 12 months. That's 12 boxes of parts to make this. And box two through 12 are 150. I believe that's what it says. I believe that's how it's going. Maybe we'll wait and see if there's more. Maybe I got that wrong, because that's a lot of money. But still, 38 inches tall. Like, that's tall. That's really tall. That's big. And it's die cast. So, so yeah, it's going to be one expensive one. It's uh, taller than Haslab Unicron, so. Anyway, that's the Agora Models Optimus Prime. Last week we saw these Transformers Rise of the Beast movie statues, and I thought it was a lot of work to build these statues. A lot of time, effort, and money, and it turns out they're going on a world tour. So they're moving these statues around the world to promote the movie, which is insane and awesome. All at the same time. That's cool. That is so cool. I mean... I wish they were G1-ish, but I know that's not what's going on right now. But it's still pretty cool. You gotta admit. So let, I guess there's another one of the distributors shutting down. This is DS Icons, which I've never dealt with before. But it seems like he's got a pretty good reputation in the community. And is no longer going to be doing business. And I don't know all the details behind it. But it is always sad when you lose another avenue to get the great things that we get but uh seems like uh, a lot of people out there had a lot of good things to say about ds icons and and it's just sad that we lose yet another one uh just victim of the economy i guess but i don't know the whole story okay getting into some legends news there's not a whole lot of legends news but here's the box for this is the new age michael which is their Omega Supreme, and it looks pretty good. We also have in-hand images. All right, here it is, in-hand, in-hand images. And it's really hard to tell if this thing has the usual high paint level that New Age does. But it's kind of interesting because New Age has been putting out like a really high-end version and a really low-end version with almost bare bones, no paint. So I'm wondering if this is... This one looks to me to be in the middle but it's still kind of a face-off between this and Panku Toys, which the Panku Toys one's pretty solid, so it'll be interesting to see how this goes. Still looks really nice. Here's a top-down view shot of the alt mode. Looks fantastic. And I, I do think, just from the pictures, it probably wins in the alt mode. Probably. Looks more like a launch pad. The launch pad looks more like a launch pad. I think that's really the biggest difference. And, uh, and... 
if you look at the groove all the way around it, that's the guide that holds it in place while the tank rolls around, I think, I believe. So I guess it's a little bit more play value to it. I mean, it's going to be somewhere in the ballpark of twice the price of the Panku Toys one. But it's going to have some electronics and a few other features and gizmos and stuff. And I'm still curious about how the transformation goes. And MPH Studios, is that what it is? Is, I guess, knocking off New Age's version of Beachcomber. So, I don't know if it's going to be any bigger. Uh, personally, I would have liked it to be a little bit bigger if they do that. I mean, isn't that always the goal? You always want just a little bit bigger. But anyway, uh, this looks nice. This looks nice. And so with that, I'm curious how this turns out. Also curious where you order it. We have this crazy picture that is in rumor category. Not at all news, but rumor that we're getting a Legends train bot. And not sure what company that would be, but that'd be interesting. So here's where I kind of stand on this. If we do get a Legends train bot... And let's say it comes out and you're in the ballpark of like $170 or something, which is what I would hope it would be, but maybe it'd be closer to the $225 or something like that, versus buying the Moon Studio, which is $600, now it's probably $700 or $800 with the price increases, or even going with what Takara did. You can have a representation of this in your collection, if you're a Masterpiece collector, collector for a lower price point. That would be interesting. And people that generally wouldn't jump on this for Masterpiece might jump on it for Legends. It seems like a really good idea. That's all I gotta say. Okay, so we've got some mainline news from Hasbro. Target exclusive mini, mini multi-packs? Multi-packs. They're not really mini, but multi-packs. This is kind of interesting. This is a three-pack Jungle Mission Cheetor Nightbird and Wheeljack. And so Wheeljack looks way different. He's he's jacked up. <laughs> Here is the bot mode for all of those. And so some old reuse here, I guess. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not really sure what's going on with all this. And anyway, I, I assume they're all deluxe. And price point, 60 bucks. That makes sense that they're all deluxe for 50, 60 bucks. And I guess they got to come up with some sort of exclusives for them. That's just how it goes. And then they have another three pack. That is another Jungle Mission 3-pack. That is Bumblebee, Air Razor, and Mirage. So, there's that. And that's 60 bucks. also. If this is something that you're interested in, then you might want to get on top of it. Then there's also going to be a Beast Alliance, Weaponizers, Predacon, Scorponok. Let's look at that. This is Scorponok and Sand Spear 2-pack. Retailing at $14.99. So, I assume this is like a core class type of thing, but anyway, Target exclusive if you're interested. So Walmart CollectorCon, I didn't pre-order any of this stuff, but uh, what we got here were a few interesting, we got a, a Jazz repaint, it's the G2 Universe Autobot Jazz, we've got the Toxitron, we've got the Retro G1 Inspired Thundercracker, and all that kind of stuff. All right, so we got some, I guess, some in-hand picks already. I don't know how, but there they are. But still pretty cool, interesting. It's it's mold reuse, but some people are going to love these, and these are obscure and those kinds of things. Great thing for a Walmart exclusive kind of deal, right? And the blue one, is the blue one what they call cloud cover, I think? So I'm trying to keep up with this because I, I just don't remember. But all these seekers, all these coneheads, now these are the ones that are hard to get and people like to chase after. But I don't know. I know they want the main core three cone heads. Do they want every cone head under the sun? I, I'm not sure because that that G2 version didn't seem to sell very well. It wasn't really like people cared about it. But well, people care about this. They've also got the Hound, the retro G1-ish Hound up for order. Well, I guess it's sold out. So that thing sold out. $35. It's sold out at $35. Well, the thing is, is you just don't see Hound all the time. You see Seekers all the time. And so they, I guess they stay in stock better. But this Hound sold out. I'm sure you'll see it in the store. But that that's pretty interesting that it's sold out that fast. And it doesn't even have chrome accessories. They have sort of just kind of gray accessories because it's tune or movie accurate. 
Okay, so there's some more Legacy Evolution rumors that are... Well, they say that the listings are actually in the system, so... Transform Generation Legacy Capsule Deluxe G2 Mirage. So it's just a Mirage repaint into this, but what will the mold look like? You know, is it going to be that older mold or what? Seems like they're using some newer molds here. Uh, Capsule Deluxe G2 Sideswipe and Capsule Deluxe G2 Dead End. So this has got me questioning, are they going to do a whole repaint since Dead End's in there? Are they going to repaint all of them, all the Sonicons? Are we going to get a whole new Minasaur or am I just in left field? It'd be a lot of fun. Anyway, there's Deluxe Shadow Strip. So, a lot of rumors heading our way. Getting into other news, and before I forget about it, because it's not really a news story, it's just something that happened to me that Hasbro Pulse canceled my Indiana Jones retro figures and sent me an, an email and said, due to their system limitations, they weren't able to change the price, but they canceled my order and just said reorder them. And they upped the quantity to how, of how many you can order to, I think, five. So why did they change it from 15 bucks to 12 bucks? Because I think it's because they weren't selling as many as they thought, for whatever reason. Uh, it's probably the limit to quantity. But the economy, them way overpricing their stuff, 12 bucks. They, they, they were acting like the arm gimmick was worth $5. The arm, arm gimmick's worth $2. Well, the rest of the retros are only $2. And I guarantee you, the arm gimmick only costs them in, in the pennies range when it comes to manufacturing thousands of these. Now, the other thing is, do they want to sell 10000 or do they want to sell $2 million? That's the difference. Three bucks can make a big difference when it comes to this toy line. So I want to touch on Ramen Toy and their 3-0. This is from their Marshall which is uh, sort of looks similar to Brave Star and 3030 and all that kind of stuff, but it's something different. And I think there's going to be a comic and lore behind this, but I'm not 100% sure just yet, but it looks pretty good. Now, the thing about this, why is this important? Why does this matter? Is because the original vintage Brave Star 3030 looks awkward and weird when it's in the humanoid type of mode. And so this is to match some sort of an animation or, or, or maybe the comic book that's going to go along with the Marshall, the animation a lot closer and it looks really good. So it's pretty exciting. This is one of those things that we have needed for almost 40 years, like 38 years or something like that. So this is really cool, really exciting. I'm definitely on board with this and it will not transform because if, if it did transform, it would just be too small and it would need to have a masterpiece level of engineering to transform properly and adequately and look right. But uh, I'm, I'm A-OK -okay with getting this as an action figure. And Ace has shown us some more pictures of his Happy Halloween Charger project that's going on, the Happy Halloween 2022. And so this thing, uh, early bird pricing, I believe, is going to be 175 when it goes up for pre-order. But this is how big it is so you can get an idea of size and scale and all of that kind of stuff. Here we go with a figure in it. So this is basically a Marvel Legends figure inside just to get an idea for size and scale and all that kind of stuff. And it does look like it fits a figure very well. Very nice looking car. And then here we go, you can fit them in the back seat. So just so you know, you can fit a figure in the front and the back. So you can have four of your Marvel Legends chilling in this vehicle. Pretty cool, pretty cool overall. Now the smoke on the tires, the engine effects, all those kinds of things. So these, all these effects are going to be transparent. This is still in production and working on this. So, well, it's technically not production. It's still being developed. So it's still in development, but pretty interesting, pretty exciting. Looks pretty cool. Looks like uh, someone's going to do a better job than someone else, if you know what I mean. And no, I'm not talking no trash about Dwight or Dan Yun or any of those people because I don't even know them. I don't know anything about all that. <laughs> I'll tell you the truth. Okay, so getting into some G.I. Joe classified news, we do have a listing, and I saw the listing, and I thought that's really strange, but it's a Tiger Force Dusty, which makes a lot of sense. Like, why not repaint Dusty? They've sold out of the standard Dusty on Pulse because they gave, put them at 30% off, and then I think Zorana sold out too. Glad I got my extras on those so I can open one, <laughs> or not, I don't know. So, pretty cool looking 
uh, idea to do the Tiger Force and all of that, but it seems like all the Tiger Force and Python patrols are hitting clearance, which I guess is a win-win for, for collectors. Okay, so looking at what's going on with the Walmart Collector Con, Walmart exclusives, uh, the Big Bin, and then the Range Viper, and I've got a whole video I need to talk about this. This is just like one blip on the radar in the whole video, but this comes down to value to me. Value for me, perceived value, might not be the same to value for someone else, but neither one of these characters really mean anything to me. Yes, I pre-ordered both of them, $27 and some change each, which is like, ouch, I don't feel like the value's there. I just, I actually spent 40 bucks buying one accessory for one vintage figure, and I got so much more value out of that, in my opinion, than, than buying one of these. So, uh, with that, that's a whole topic of conversation. I also heard there's going to be a female Range Viper coming out, and all of that kind of stuff, but, so character selection, there are people out there, like Tony to Analog Toys, who really loves this Ben Big fig Big Ben figure, and it means a lot to him, so he's going to get a ton of value out of this for the price point. So, uh, but yeah, there's more discussion, there's a lot of angles to that topic, but with this, it's kind of like, how deep are they going to go? Are they going too deep? Too deep it cuts too early? Or are they not going deep enough yet? I mean, what do you guys think? Well, we've got more rumors, and people are talking like this stuff's really going to happen, and it probably will. It probably all will. But we got the, uh, the Range Viper, we've already seen that. And then the Big Ben, we've already seen that. But then we've got something called... Uh, Wes Hugo NF Shooter, then we've got Alley Viper Redeco, Zombie Viper, uh, we've already, Shadow Tracker we've already heard about uh, coming our way, then we also heard the a new Joe character, uh, Tennyson, and then there's some other Joe Redeco, so with all of that good stuff going on, uh, people are talking about there's going to be some Night Force stuff going on in here, so sounds good, sounds interesting, but... Do we really want to see, like, five versions of Outback and, and three versions of Tunnel Rat? I mean, I don't know. I really don't know. If that's something that, that the community wants, then it's going to get satisfied. If it's something the community doesn't want, it's just not going to perform very well. Okay, Nacelle has put up pre-orders for their Biker Mice. And this is kind of the same sort of feeling I got about when they put up their Sectars, which I pre-ordered their Sectars. I pre-ordered four of the Stellaras because it's never been made before. And I'm definitely going to be opening that and having that on the shelf with the rest of my Sectars collection. When it comes to these, I feel like this is a mix between the 2006 versions, which are taller, six inch, and it's, but, but they're stockier, more like the vintage toys. So it's like the vintage toys scaled up and stockier, not the skinny, lengthy stuff. So I am going to be doing the 2006 Monday and then the play sets and then the vintage stuff on Wednesday, retro Wednesday. So a whole week of biker mice, uh, just kind of breaking it down. Nobody else on YouTube has done it. So I guess I'm going to do that. And with it, it's very interesting. The It's cool. But if they don't make the bikes, a lot of people are probably not going to want to get in on this, and they're putting the figures out first. So there's some challenges to it. $36.99, so $37 a figure. And I've got both the 2006, uh, a whole collection of 2006, and a whole collection of the vintage, missing you know a handful of figures and parts and pieces, and like the, the rare variants and stuff. I don't really care about all that. But with this, I, I don't even know if I'm in on it, though. Because, I, I mean, I got, got what I need, but it is exciting, and I think they look really good but it's just a render i'd like to see the real world stuff see we didn't see the real world stuff for a while with the cell and these what are we six eight months out but it's still exciting so i i guess i figured out why i'm confused about why we have different weeks week three of holothon and i'm like we had that on week one people were buying that on week one i saw it on the shelves week one of course on a road trip, <laughs> not anywhere near me, had to drive many, many distances, uh, 90 miles to find one. But anyway, uh, so so this stuff was supposed to be put out at timed intervals, and it wasn't supposed to all be put out at once, and most targets just put everything they had out at once. They were shipped everything at once, but they were supposed to put certain things out. I don't think it was, I think it was a communications breakdown or whatever, so I guess it's an invasion that's coming with a communications breakdown. But uh, the one thing that is different this week that I haven't seen is this guy, this uh, Dreadmon, Dreadmon, which looks cool and I would probably pick up. 
Now, I don't know how deep they're going to go, and this is a, a com Archie Comics version, but the problem with this line is that I stopped knowing who these characters were a long time ago, and I'm still buying some of them, but they look so good that it's hard to pass, and then you get the fear of missing out, and then you're like, well, what if I do want to go back and get a Dreadmon two years from now? Will they be like a $100 figure instead of 40 And so that's the problem. And will they be available? We have to get them off e eBay or whatever. But a lot, a lot of these are cheaper on eBay than in the store if you're looking at last year's Holothon. All right, I don't have much to say about Masters of the Universe other than the fact that uh, get ready, my minions, something special is coming next Monday. Who knows what that is? And then I guess we're going to be pre-ordering stuff and uh, Entertainment Earth, I guess. According to... Mega J Retro and uh, Toy Sorceress and all, uh, all of them over there at Toy Habits and all that kind of stuff. That we should be getting some of these figures that have popped up for pre-order and sold out on Mattel Creations. We should be getting the, a Duplico or something like that. We should be getting those like a widespread uh, a Walmart. Uh, Walmart and some other BBTS ones. and so So it should be a lot of stuff, not just one. Or it could be one big thing. Who knows? But uh, they're trying to do all the digging and research and all that kind of stuff. So I hear Duplico's going to show up at Walmart. I don't know. I don't know. I don't have one ordered, pre-ordered. It was a mess. It was a mess. Hopefully this isn't a mess. Okay, so we have a new Batmobile, Todd McFarlane, setting records and selling out, not at one place, system-wide. It sold out system-wide, and I'm saying BBTS, Entertainment Earth, Target, Walmart, uh, Todd McFarlane himself. These should be in stores too. They should come back up once it comes in stock more, but uh, the price range anywhere from $60 to $80 for this thing. It's a one-seater. It looks fantastic. Todd McFarlane came out and put his own video out about it. We got actual pictures of it, and it looks good. It looks good. It's exciting. I literally sat down for dinner and watched... Uh, Mandalorian or something, one of those, and then afterwards found out everything sold out and I completely missed the boat. So uh, I'm not really too heartbroken because I believe it's going to be available everywhere, but it's huge. It, it really is. It's one big vehicle, that's for sure. And so with that, you get a Batman, well, you got to buy it separate. This is the Michael Keaton Batman. The face, the jawline doesn't really match up to Michael Keaton very well, but uh, overall, pretty exciting. So I want to say something about this. This is a testament to how popular the 89 Batman is for the people that are buying collectibles right now. And so with that, there's all these other Batmans that sit on shelves in Walmarts and Targets and in stock and inventory everywhere. And yet this stuff sells out in minutes, less than an hour. Uh, just insane. And it doesn't sell in one place everywhere. 89 Batman is my favorite. And uh, the 66 stuff is fun. But 89, in my heart of hearts, that's where it's at. Uh, I, I don't know if I'd go do, build a whole collection around 89 Batman. But just Batman and his Batmobile, it's an absolute must-have for almost every Batman collector. Okay, so the Batwing from the Flash movie for Masterverse, or Multiverse, not Masterverse, it's not He-Man. This is a $250 exclusive for McFarlane Toys. I'm not in on it. I'm not dropping 250 on it. Although I think it looks magnificent. It looks fantastic. And I, I'm. it's supposed to fit a figure. So this thing's going to be huge. But it's mostly wings. We all know that. It's mostly wings. So it's not that big of a deal. Not that big of a deal. But 250 I mean, this almost feels like it's almost in HasLab territory for just a Batwing. And which surprises me because McFarlane is so reasonably priced on everything else. Then they drop something like this. But it looks fantastic, and I bet you it's going to be awesome. But I'm not in on it. I still think it's cool. Yeah, there's also been Affleck, Batman. I, I didn't have a picture of that one. So, But I do have a picture of Willie Nelson here. And uh, there's going to be a NECA 8-inch scale clothed action figure of Willie Nelson uh, up for pre-order. And they have it at BBTS, Entertainment Earth, and probably a few other places. It is $40. And he comes with a guitar. I bet you he comes with more than a guitar. I know, if, if you know NECA, he comes with a guitar and a hat and a whole bunch of stuff. But yeah, Willie Nelson, out of the blue. So Disney Park is launching a new 
Tron ride, and it's a, a light cycle run. And so with that, there's going to be Disney Parks stuff. I don't know if you're going to be able to buy it at the Disney store or any of that kind of stuff, which I hope you can. But this is reaction here. So getting the reaction light cycles. Uh, we know, I think NECA did this a while back, and they made them to look almost exactly like the vintage. So this is not exactly like the vintage. This almost looks uh, more like the movie than the vintage toy. But still really cool, really exciting. I don't know price point on any of this stuff. Would love it if we could just get it from BBTS and not for an insane price. Would be awesome. There's also other stuff going on, such as uh, Back to the Arcade neon signs, mini arcade, backpack, t-shirts, hats, high-end jackets. Uh, there's a replica uh, helmet for, for Sam Flynn in a carrying case and a life on the grid light-up apparel backpack, uh, customizable... Stuff like that. If you're like me and you missed Elvira the first go-around, there's another Elvira figure and another dress. And then I think there's a couple of different versions you can get for her. So that sounds pretty interesting. There is going to be the 6-inch scale Toonie Terrors Elvira and on a couch box set. And then there's the 8-inch clothed Elvira Red fright and boo so pretty cool I, mean, I wouldn't mind picking one up if i see it in the store i don't know if i'm going to be pre-ordering it for like 42 dollars something like that on bbts and entertainment earth and all those kind of places but interesting stuff there getting into some star wars news we have the black series clone commander jesse action figure at walmart up for pre-order for 27.97 has not sold out yet because there's just not a lot of interest in it i guess i mean that's my belief i believe there's not a lot of interest therefore for our it's not sold out and it's funny too because if it said rex on there it'd be sold out right captain rex captain rex would sell out fast uh art commander colts uh for the vintage collection and this is another one that's up for pre-order so this is a cartoon back backing but it's not a cartoon figure it's it's that crazy conundrum that it's still a real world figure we're just gonna give it the cartoon picture whatever I mean, it's things that they've been doing all along and getting away with it, so they continue to do it. And we've got, in both scales, we've got Tusken Raiders. we got Tusken Chief Attain in the Black Series and Tusken Warrior in the Vintage Collection. And I think those are all up for pre-order somewhere, everywhere. Uh, but the thing about this is that I don't know how many people ask for this, or if they ask for it, or if this is another one of those, we're just going to shove it down your throat. And we don't care if you want it or not, and we're going to make it. But, I mean, it's still kind of cool in a way, but I just don't see people clamoring for this when there's at least 50 figures that in, in the 96, or maybe it's only 40 now, in the 96 that still need to get made. But what's going on with all that? I, I guess we're just going to make up new characters or new versions of old characters instead of actually finishing a line. Walmart also had this Boba Fett on sale for 12 bucks. I guess they sold out of the out of the clearance ones and they're back to normal $30 price point or something like that or they had it on for a short period of time or whatever I don't really look at Star Wars every day I barely look at it once a week to put news together but I still look at it once a week to put news together so there we go and uh, I missed out on this I don't think I would have bought another one for 12 though which is sad that I wouldn't even spend 12 on this what a crazy week of stuff going on let me know what you think in the comments below what else is going on out there that I do not know like and subscribe, anti-deer, and hang her out.